Hi, I'm Jeff Goodman and welcome to scubavast.com. I was recently invited by the Cayman Island Tourism Department on a fam trip to the Cayman Islands. This was a joint UK and Canadian trip and we were there to explore some of the diving on the or around the three islands. And this was Grand Cayman, Little Cayman and Cayman Brack. Unfortunately, circumstances dictated that we weren't able to get to Cayman Brack, but we did look at quite a few sites on the or around the other two islands. The diving there is wonderful. The water is warm and clear and the marine life is unafraid of divers, which makes diving, especially if you're filming or doing photography, uh, absolutely wonderful. Weather was great, food fantastic and accommodation was just perfect. Diving on the islands is very easy uh, for all types of divers, uh, whether you're a novice or a more experienced. The three Cayman Islands lie to the south of Cuba and northeast of Honduras. The islands are in fact the tops of a mountain called the Cayman Ridge, which rise more than seven and a half thousand meters from the ocean floor. And as a consequence, the drop offs and deep ocean are very near to the coast. The trip started with a short flight from Grand to Little Cayman, which gave a wonderful opportunity to see the islands from the air. I do love small planes and these island hopping machines are a real treat. Touchdown was smooth at the small island airport from where we headed to our hotel for the night. Early next morning, the sun rose over the bar pool and we headed to the dock to board our dive boat from the Little Cayman Beach Resort. Even after a lifetime of diving, I always find the first dive at any new location gives me slight butterflies in my stomach. But once off the boat, any and all apprehension is immediately gone and the pure joy of being underwater takes over. It struck me very quickly just how unafraid the marine wildlife was of divers. It was wonderful. The entire atmosphere was relaxed and easy. This is mainly due to the excellent and strict conservation programs here in the Caymans and the existence of such places as the Bloody Bay Marine Park with its world famous Bloody Bay Wall. The water temperature ranges between 78 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit or 26 and 28 degrees centigrade and the visibility averages between 60 and 100 feet or 18 to 30 meters, generally depending on the time of year. Taking great photos is not always as easy as it looks, but when the subjects are accommodating as this photography and videography have much of the hard work removed.
Returning to the Little Cayman Beach Resort after a wonderful day's diving, I spoke with Diego at the Reef Divers Photo Center. And he is the on-site photo pro in association with Backscatter. One of the reasons that we established this uh, so this project here in Little Cayman is because Little Cayman is a great way uh, or a great place to dive. We have uh, some beautiful reefs, uh, the, the Bloody Bay Wall is just amazing and wide angle photography here is in fact one of the world class places to, uh, uh, to come and shoot. Macro photography, we also got loads of little places to go and explore macro, macro creatures and one of the reasons or one of the main reasons that we really like to shoot here is because the wildlife is so used to divers and that they're not afraid to come really really close to us. Back on Grand Cayman, there was time to relax in a seafront cafe. But even here, the marine life proved to be abundant. Huge tarpon, encouraged with chips from the cafe's customers, have become a permanent feature. And what a spectacular feature they are. Tarpon have been part of our oceans since historic times and can grow up to eight foot in length, weighing up to 280 pounds and if left alone, can live up to 50 years. Magnificent. The next part of our adventure was to join one of the Ocean Frontier dive boats out of Compass Point Dive Resort. With a strong wind and swell out at sea, we headed up the coast to our dive site in the shelter of the Fringing Reef, where the water was clear, blue and calm. Stunning drop-offs, walls, canyons and overhangs defined our diving here. Being on top of an underwater mountain range, deep water is never too far from the shore. Although the sea was too rough for us to get out there on this particular day, the Grand Cayman North Wall drops to more than 6,000 feet or 1,800 meters. Nevertheless, the inner reef walls are just as beautiful. With little or no current, the wall diving was safe and tranquil with giant corals and sponges. Our next and final venue was with Sunset Divers on one of the boats from Sunset House Dive Resort. This was to be our first and only wreck dive for this trip and it was on the USS Kitty Wake. After a dive briefing, we eagerly headed into the water. There are over 300 wrecks in the Caymans and the USS Kitty Wake, a US Naval Submarine rescue vessel, is an easy dive in only 55 feet or 17 meters to the bottom. She was purposefully sank as an artificial reef in 2011 and lies on sand next to a reef located off Seven Mile Beach in a national marine park. Thank you. 
She is an easy wreck to dive for both beginners and the more experienced. The surrounding reefs are also worth a look, with healthy sponges and corals. We did visit the remains of a wreck which, although now totally flattened, still harboured a good array of wildlife. This was to be our last dive and the arrival of a turtle made it all the more special. Then, almost as a parting gift, a not too shy yellow head jawfish was cleaning out its burrow. Mm -hmm. 